Hey, blessings, blessings, blessings. Here we go again. It's Monday, July 10th. Hey, thank you again for joining with us for this short time of prayer. I hope it encourages you to continue praying during the course of the day. So today, our Bible reading is Acts 16, 16 through 40. That is with the, uh, the certain slave girl who was possessed and she went after Paul and Silas. These men are servants of the Most High God that show unto us the way of salvation. And then they ended up in prison. But at midnight, the roughest time of the day, they're praising God, even though their backs were beaten. What an attitude. I pray we have an attitude like that when bad things happen, that we just praise the Lord through it. Amen. So our, our uh, nation that we're praying for, it's a creative access number 41 today, which is um, East Asia. Please pray for the protection of believers who are traveling to share the gospel in several places this summer. Many dangers arise this time of year, and our team appreciates your prayer support that enables them to persist in their mission without fear or doubt. Pray also for the families of those engaged in the outreach. All right, and then our state that we're praying for is Utah, 3.2% evangelical population, 3.2 million population, 7% evangelical Christians. You know why there. And then our prayer focus is the justice system. Boy, that can definitely use some prayer. Amen. All right, we got our prayer maps. We got our prayer cards. Let's have our prayer. Precious Father, we do thank you for another new day. Again, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. We thank you that we can celebrate Jesus. Just like Paul and Silas, they were beaten, they were whipped. But at midnight, they worshiped you. So we worship you. We don't worship you for the troubles. We worship you that you get us through the troubles, that your grace is always sufficient that you're always there to help us in the good times and the bad times, Lord. You said in this world we will have tribulations, but to be of good cheer, you have overcome the world. You said to rejoice when trials and tests coming, come our way, knowing that the trying of our faith works patience or endurance in our lives. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, and we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters. We pray, Father, for those. I, I lift up uh, Judy and Larry and the passing away of their son. We pray for peace there. We lift up uh, Cindy with decisions and things that are going on. We're praying for healing in her body. We lift up our senior citizens for strength, Lord, for, for just strength in their bodies, Father. We thank you for that. Though the outward man perish, the inward is being renewed day by day. And we thank you. We lift up these prayer cards. We lift up the other needs that have come in on the prayer chain. And we thank you for that. Lord, we lift up the United States of America. And we pray, Father, for the state of Utah, Father. We pray for the Mormons there, that they would see the truth of the Bible. That we don't believe in a Bible or writings of angels. We believe in writings from Almighty God inspired, Almighty God inspiring men to write the Word of God. So we pray for them today, Lord. We pray for our United States of America. We pray for those that are in authority. We bind up evil people. We slow them down. And we pray for the godly that you would strengthen them, Lord, and encourage them. And I thank you, thank you for this, Father. We pray over our justice system, Lord. I pray that justice would be blind, that it would not be political. It would not be, well, this guy put me in this, so I'm going to vote for good things. No, justice should be as a blindfold. And we pray, we pray for judges that they would do it right. We bind up evil judges, Lord, and we pray for godly judges, Father. Strengthen them, use them, protect them. We pray for our executive, legislative, and judicial branch, Father. We pray for governors and mayors, policemen and women. We pray for our soldiers, our military, first responders, Lord. We pray for America, 
Earth to God, earth to God, help us, Lord. We need help, Lord. We pray, Father, also for our world today. We lift up before you this East Asia nation, Lord. And we pray, Father, for the many missionaries, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers that are out there doing the work of the ministry in some in some pretty hard places. We pray for their protection. We know that when a person is found to be a Christian in North Korea, they're put into hard labor camps, Lord. It's scary to be a Christian in these areas. Help these, I pray, this day, Father. We lift them up before you, Father. We lift up our world. We start off by praying for Jerusalem. You said pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We do that, Lord. We pray for Israel today. Now we also lift up North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, the Pacific, the Antarctic. We lift up these areas, Lord. Father, it's you said in your word, you're the one that divides nations. You're the one that makes this nation, how, when they're going to rise, when they're going to come down. So, Lord, we pray for America. We pray for our world. We want America to be a sheep nation. We've done so much good but we're doing so much evil right now. Lord, help us, help us, help us, we pray. Now, Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters today, and I pray your grace, your goodness, your compassion, your love, and your strength. I thank you, Father, as we always pray, that you have made us the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, that in all our ways and endeavors, that we are greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved that we are blessed to be a blessing. Now we praise you as we end our time of prayer. All praise to you that created the moon, the sun, the stars. If you can do that, you can take care of this, this body of ours. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Have a great Monday. Have a great start of the week. Be a person after God's own heart. Amen. God bless.